Hey friend, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Tatiana, but you can call me Irie. And today I just wanted to come on here and give you guys a quick but gentle reminder that whether you believe you deserve it or not, there are better things coming for you. There is better ahead for you and it's time to start believing it. I got this gentle reminder quite early this morning like it was in the wee hours of the morning and I decided that I want to pay this reminder forward to my brothers and sisters in Christ and let them know that there are better things ahead. One of the things that the enemy tries to do is not to take away the thing that God wants to bless us with or the better that God wants to bless us with but to remove the belief that it can happen for us, to remove the motivation, to remove everything from our minds that keeps us holding on. But I'm here to tell you that it's not a matter of if, it's just a matter of when. Now, I'm not going to tell you when this is going to happen. I'm not here to prophesy and let you know that in two days or 10 days or five days, but I'm here using my own testimony, using my own journey right now to let you know that it will happen for you. The better is coming and it's time to start preparing for it. And how do we prepare? We start to give thanks. Start to give thanks for the things that you've been praying about, for the things that you've been seeking him about. Start praising God for that better that's coming. Start to give him thanks. Start to worship right where you are. Start to even act as if it's already here. You have to make the decision that no matter what you're seeing right now, no matter what is evident that wants to contradict the promise that God gave to you, start giving him thanks for the things that you have been praying for. Start worshiping him for the better. I've said this before in previous videos that nothing that we do in faith, no amount of prayer or being in God's presence is ever wasted. He sees you right where you are and he is getting ready to allow you to step into the better. It might not look exactly like what you wanted. It might not be the very thing that you have been praying for, but it is the best thing. So you're stepping into better, <laughs> but it's also God. God's best and I just want to encourage you and implore you today to hold on to that hold on to this reminder hold on to this promise that there is better coming for you every day can't be the same <laughs> every day can't be the same and every day will not be the same I just wanted to read a couple of verses for you guys and the first one is from Isaiah 60 and verse 22 and it says the smallest family will become a thousand people and the tiniest group will become a mighty nation at the right time I the Lord will make it happen God wants to remind you today that it's happening in the right time it's coming better is coming for you keep trusting him keep praying keep holding on no matter what it seems like, no matter what it feels like. Dispel the lies of the enemy with God's word, with this very verse, and keep believing that it will happen for you. The second verse I want to read for you guys comes to us from Habakkuk 2 and verse 3, and it says, This vision is for a future time. It describes the end, and it will be fulfilled. If it seems slow in coming, Wait patiently, for it will surely take place. It will not be delayed. I know your better feels as if it has been long delayed to the point where you've probably stopped believing that it can happen. Gentle reminder, it will happen. It's right here. And God is not a man that he should lie. It says, if it seems slow in coming, wait patiently, for it will surely take place. I have lived this verse in so many different situations in my life, and it is something that I am still 
going through. I don't speak of anything that I have not experienced on this walk with Christ. And I can tell you that there are times when I've given up on things, when I've given up on myself. And God proved to me that you just have to wait. You just have to wait and believe and trust him. And that's all I want to share with you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And I just pray that you keep God's truth in your heart because it's coming. And I just want to end by saying that you deserve it. You deserve it. If God sees it fit to give you the desires of your heart, to allow you to walk into that better you deserve it. So stop saying you don't deserve it. You deserve it. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you feel blessed, definitely go ahead and subscribe, like this video, and as always, share it with someone that you know. Bye guys.